Today, the governor also announced a contract with Ernst & Young to add 200 employees to process unemployment claims. Back in April, the state contracted 500 workers to help answer the phones and alleviate some of the pressure. But in May, they were all let go. As LAX 18's Kristen Edwards tells us why and how one former contractor thinks they didn't get a fair chance to help people. It was back in March when the state said it needed more manpower to deal with unemployment claims. Our goal by the end of this week is to be around 1,000 to 1,200 uh, people on the call center line. That is up from 12 three weeks ago. This man, who would like to remain anonymous, was one of those hired to work the phones. To be quite honest, I was really excited to actually be able to get in and, and try to help people out with their questions. He started April 15th, and for the next five weeks, he says he helped answer general questions, like how long someone's claim would take to process or how much money they would be getting. It was kind of a, a, a first line of defense for people when they were calling in and asking us what's going on. But the job certainly had its limitations. He said about half of his callers needed to be transferred to someone who could answer more complicated questions. They would either get frustrated or say, well, you're useless. And I, we spent a, a good amount of time being berated, uh, being told that we weren't actually doing anything to, to help out. Then on May 22nd, two hours before the end of his shift, he learned he was out of a job. My heart just dropped. In an email to LEX 18, the state explained as Kentucky transitions to healthy at work, our more experienced workers are needed for adjudication and processing complex claims. Tier one workers were not handling complex claims. When the contract ended, it was not renewed. But he says he and many of his co-workers weren't given the tools to succeed and handle those complex claims. And he says they were more than willing to be trained to do so. We could have done more had the state allowed us to. In the meantime, many Kentuckians are still waiting for answers. The state says it will make an announcement sometime this week on additional assistance to process the unprecedented number of claims created by the pandemic. Kristen Edwards, LX18 News.